Now, how do we get to the gift of acceptance? That it's not okay, and that's okay, and it's not okay, that it is okay, and I'm in it. And I don't like it. By the way, I don't like these feelings. I just love the benefit of them. Okay? Now, there's an equation up here that is a process of taking us over to the gift. The, the, the feelings lead to a gift, and there's an equation to take us there. There's actually something you can do that will let the process work. Now, have any of you ever been afraid that if you started crying, you'd never stop? Anybody ever relate to that? You, you do? I'm glad to hear you say that. <laughs> you, you, you already come a long way. <laughs> <laughs> it was a short period of time. Hey, you're faking it now. <laughs> you learn what to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. I thought I'd never stop crying. Is that right, answer? <laughs> okay. So where you, I want you to know you will stop crying. Your body, your emotional, spiritual selfhood, your life has a rhythm. If you will let yourself feel using this equation, your feelings will take you to what you're made to have. It's a process. You don't control it. You surrender to it. Okay? Now, here's the equation. Human truth is not as great as the gifts. Okay? This is that symbol. That's all the algebra I got right here. That's it. Less than. That's a less than symbol. Just the feelings themselves aren't the point. They're less than what the equation can get for you. Through W, willingness. W is willingness. Through willingness, what is willingness? Anybody ever been hurt before? Anybody ever made a vow about never being hurt again? Yes? Okay, me. I know. So willingness is taking the risk of allowing yourself to hope again. Willingness is letting your heart risk again. Even though it seems crazy, I don't mean like Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown needs to stop. Somebody needs to hold Charlie Brown back from Lucy. But willingness is letting yourself hope again that maybe love is real. Maybe people can be trusted. Maybe dependency is okay. Perhaps forgiveness is real. To live with passion is better than to live without life. Stuffs, there are things that are worth being in pain for. You see? So it's like re-entering the game. So willingness is letting yourself risk heart again. And think about how much willingness saves a marriage on daily life. I mean, the number of times I've, I've driven away from the house saying, I'm going to tell you one thing for sure. This time, I'm not apologizing. <laughs> She's not going to get a call from me. I'm not saying a word. About an hour later, I start thinking, well, you know, Chip, you, she, what she said was pretty on target. Yeah, but what about that other stuff she said that was not on target? That's what I'm concentrating on. Yeah, but some of that stuff was pretty on target. Hey, Sonia, and I'm sorry. I, what? I need to be? No, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> you see, we have to be willing to break a vow. The vow that works against how God made us. The vow of that I'm taking over my life. I'm not giving it to anyone. Cursed is the person who depends upon their own strength. Okay? So we're born with these things. Our job is to continue to admit them and surrender to them. So that's willingness. Willingness plus patience. What is patience? Patience means, so we'll call this, we'll call this having your heart and hope back. Patience is, the literal meaning is burden of hope. You let your heart back into the game, into life again. Patience is the willingness to carry the burden of hope. Remember at the very beginning of our talking today, I said, every time we hope, it means that we're having to wait. Correct? You hope for something. Hope means you're wishing for something you do not have. So by the very nature of hope, it means there's a waiting. And the burden of hoping, daring to hope, the burden of hoping requires a thing called patience, ability and willingness to wait. Waiting's hard. Trusting's hard. Depending upon God is hard. Believing in others to do what they say and, 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 and mean what they say and, and, and do what they mean, whatever, you know how, <laughs> something like that. People to trust people is difficult. It requires that we wait. The one in the, in the uh, uh, um, Psalm 37, 
wait upon the Lord, it, it literally means to be pierced into place, like somebody nailed you to a board. Waiting is an active experience if your heart's in it. Because if you're waiting, you're praying. Hey, you sure you're coming? Or being at peace, he'll be here. Looking over the horizon for him. The, the father of the pro story of the prodigal son had patience. He waited well. But in his waiting, he was active. Every day he'd go out on the front porch and look off to the horizon. Is it today he's coming home? And he was willing to suffer. And he was willing to lose. The burden of hope. You got it? Hope is daring. Because that, that daring is a willingness to lose. Do you see? To have pain. For love to be unrequited. And think of the joy if it is requited. Life is tragic. God is faithful. And we stay, we reconcile those two conflicts through staying in the struggle. So patience is the ability to wait. Then this one is work. So willingness plus patience plus work. Work is what you were doing the moment you were born. Work means giving your hands, your head, and your heart to something. Labor is what we get taught work is later on by adults. You get that? Work is a gift. It's offering yourself completely to building something that matters to you. Going at it, going for it. But once your heart has been made small, all you're left with is your hands and your head. Engineering and marriage don't go together. He, he, he has a great head and a great pair of hands. And, and he can fly a plane. He can build a bridge, but he can't hold a child. And it matters. You see? See, your heart has to be in your life. Artists are people who hands, head, and heart are all in. They give themselves to the creative process completely. Labor is what happens when you start to lose your heart and your hands and your head are all that become valuable to society, you see? And a lot of adults teach, you better enjoy your life now because guess what? When you're in our place, it's, it's not good. Which means they equate being grown up with a terrible thing when actually being grown up is the freedom to work more, to work better, the freedom of, of, of work and expression. You see, being able to be part of NAM is the freedom to work, something that really matters. But if you're not giving your heart to it, then the people you're feeding aren't being fed. Oh, they'll get the meal. But do they get who came with the meal? Do you, do you see? Really, okay. So that's work, willingness to work, to bring your heart back to what you're doing. And if your heart can't be given to what you're doing, you may be doing something you don't need to be doing. You, need to be, you may need to just go somewhere else. And that's okay. God just may have you somewhere else and you were putting yourself in your own box that God didn't sh shape for you. It's okay. And frankly, in this country right now, and for years and years and years, there's been a real opportunity to work. Even, even working in all categories, working for justice, working for change, working for building, working for working. I mean, just working. It's, it, 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 you, you have the ability to, to, to do what maybe God called you to do because there aren't as many restraints on us here. We can, we can do what I'm talking about. Okay. And then finally, plus T. Now, guys, this is, this is, this is, this is a hard one. But time is a, something that passes, right? Okay? You might say, uh, okay, time, hurry up and pass. <laughs> That'd be about my shame. Okay, so we're using time right now. And I said to somebody earlier, you realize four hours is a long time. But, but I look at my watch and go, four hours is almost done. We got to hurry up. Because time is, the clock isn't something that matters. What we're doing in the process of the clock moving is what matters, okay? So time is really something that is the space for you to live your life in. So time is, gonna, time is actually space. The clock's ticking, but what are you doing with it? Where are you in it? 
the present is called a gift because it's the only place that you can live fully. It's a present because the present is a place where you're living. And either you're living in it, which means taking up space, or the clock's ticking and you're losing your life. You see? Get in your life. Take up space. Become three-dimensional. Because people without heart are two-dimensional. You see? If I do this, you can't feel it. A two-dimensional man. It's like, so it's, not, it's somebody I can't be with. Think about being married to him. <laughs> That's not sounding so good anymore. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm playing, but do you see three-dimensional people take up space looking for three-dimensional people. Children are really big on needing you to take up space. And they're not really invested in time on the clock. Have you noticed? What time is it? Dark, light, play time. I mean, living time is what they're saying. So this equation, willingness plus patience plus work plus time means giving yourself back to life on life's terms. And you do it by feeding your feelings, telling the truth about them to the right people. Okay, so that's the equation, and the equation gives you the gift. It is guaranteed. If you're living in relationship with yourself, others, and God, you will come to acceptance. Not as an event, but as a way of living. I don't like it, but it's a way of living. Life on life's terms.